so I'm Paige Victor and I work for The Winch. So um, we have an after school program and we pick up children from the local area from two different schools. We bring them back, we give them tuck and we, they just play and we have reading buddies, homework help, that kind of thing. We also have programs for young people. Before the project that came up, we really didn't have anything at the zero to five end of the spectrum. So we set up basically a support group for new mothers of babies zero to seven months old who lived in the local area who, for whatever reason, might be isolated. And um, I based it off another program that I'd seen in, in Notting Hill called Rugby Portobello Trust, which had been going on for a long time, and I just thought it was a great program, something the winch should offer. So the program is really like we call it now the jewel in the crown of the winch. It is a really well established, great program. So this the group is still going strong. We started in February and we've had some of the mothers who came the very first day are still coming. Their babies are now about eleven months old. And we're actually trying to extend it to meet the needs of toddlers. We're trying to get different sort of toys. But the group the idea of the group is still the same, just a really comfortable place where people can come and connect with each other. And then that is is still going on and other projects I think are going to sprout from it. Why, like we didn't do this to win an award, we just, that was just a happy outcome of it. We were so excited. But it was really just being part of the whole, I think it is a really great organization and I hope it continues. I needed, first of all, I got a lot of confidence from them in terms of the fact that many of them were willing to sign right on. What they gave it was structure because the structure that Team Up has is you need to measure impact, you need to set out aims and objectives. We had a timeline. So we would meet, we discussed that. We um, then went off and sort of, we were trying, you know, one of the things that we wanted to do was we wanted to have a goodie bag to give out to the mothers who came. So some people wrote a letter or, you know, to get those kind of donations. We also wanted to make some inroads into local GPs, and a couple of them already had connections there. Um, so really, they just provided sort of help in brainstorming on what it would look like, and yeah, and just support every step of the way, and just keeping on track, making sure it happened. Once we got going, and once we started to earn people's trust, then the people who help the team up volunteers would actually come and just sit very casually. They bring their babies, and uh, people could just ask questions, any sort of thing that was worrying them. Um, one of them was a public health, or worked for, in public health. She came and talked about vaccinations. So the group is really relaxed, but any issues that would come up, I could go back to the, the women who had helped me start it, and they would come in, and they're still involved in it, which is nice. I found them very inspirational after every single meeting because all of them, they were in training to be doctors, they were mothers, and they were volunteering their time to work for our organization. They were smart, they were interested, they just um, helped in any way that I would have wanted them to have helped out, they did. So that's really what I got from working with them. Professional, uh, positive, and I would say inspirational.